Ladies and gentlemen, a dusty trip has finally added a third world and we have a desert. You can see it's called the Dunes. You know, that's that's the name of it. That's the official name that they're calling it. They're calling it the Dunes. And it's like Egyptian themed, you know, you've got these temples, you've got pyramids, but then we also have the desert as the first map. Okay, and then we went to grass for the second one. That's good. And now we're back to desert. It literally says desert cars only in front of it. Snow was right there for the taking. Why have they gone for an Egyptian desert? I, I don't get it. Let's hop straight into it then. 15 seconds to go. If someone joins me, that's fine. I don't mind too much. Okay, that's a pyramid <laughs> over there. This is very different to the, to the actual desert. Okay, I might have to take back my words. This looks like the default vehicle. You can see we've got stamina, uh, and we've got first. Interesting. Is there not going to be any food around? I assume that the food is not a thing and you just have to stack up on like water. Pretty generous of the game to give us 36, I believe it is, litres of gas. The max is 60 in this vehicle, of course. Uh, and it's a pickup truck, a little bit different, which is nice. This is a crossbow. Okay. Uh, interesting. Infinite ammo then. So it gives me a permanent weapon. We've got some apples and we've got some banana blast uh, and we also have a shotgun. Is this incredibly difficult because we never got guns at the start of the game. I've been given a torch that works like a flamethrower. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be really difficult. There we go. All right, let's close the door. I don't know if I need to go to those pyramids that are behind me. I assume I don't. Maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know. But so far, this is cool. It's very different, ooh, a bit bumpy, uh, a little very different to the normal desert, which I wasn't quite expecting. I thought that this would kind of just be very similar, but you can tell, you know, it's very hilly, completely different color scheme, sun's blaring. But yeah, the thing that just confuses me is why have we been given so much? I got three ammo crates, like three different weapons, a bunch of food to start with. That's not normal as we're pulling up on something now. I was about to say, maybe there's not many landmarks, but we already have a landmark here. So that doesn't quite explain it. And there is no enemy here. I feel like we're completely fine. Like we've got tons of water. We've got like oil, we've got gas, we got food, we got weapons, we got ammo. There's like no reason as to why we're gonna lose. So if I see a new building, I'll go in it. But if I see just a building I've seen before, I might as well just keep driving. There's no enemies. This is all very confusing. I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for the part that's like, gonna be like, ah, oh, that's why this is this map's like this. It's just giving me everything and not giving me any en enemies. This is not like, this is just driving simulator. Oh no, the village is overrun by mummies. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be the part. I don't see a village. Clear out the town. Yeah, okay, I can see the enemies. All right. Look, they literally give you weapons. Look, I'm, I'm, what's the point of the weapons at the start then if you're just gonna give me the weapons that I, I need? Look, this is cool, okay? An objective, clear out the town. It actually says objective. These guys are not chasing after me though. They're really not. We cleared out the village. Let's get on the move. Okay. Weird thing over there. But there's literally nothing there. Random landmarks, they don't do anything. Thing. There's no enemies, it's just at the actual landmark places. Landmark places are cool, but it said we cleared the village when we didn't, and I flipped the car. No, I have. Oh, auto flip. This car's got auto flip. You see my point? <laughs> it's just, I think what they've done is they've seen that their people maybe aren't playing the game for very long. Maybe they're losing the first time and not playing again. So they've, they've made this new map really baby easy so that, you know. Kids on like iPhones and stuff can just beat it and they'll keep playing and it and that's good for the developers, they'll earn money and stuff. But it just makes it really stale. The little wall over there, it's cool, but there's no enemies. It's like, what? Why? All right, here we go. We're coming up on 5,000 meters. This seems like a campsite. Once again, though, they've given me a weapon. Why are you giving me a weapon? It should be up to me to have the weapon. But these enemies are kind of cool. Those yellow ones, they throw objects at you. The mummies are pretty fast as well, so you've got to kind of back up and be careful. But they don't activate until you either start shooting them, but in some cases you need to get really, really close <laughs> for them to actually start working. Oh, there's one there. That seems like the boss. Oh, oh, okay, I can tell where all the budget's gone. I'm actually gonna die. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. It's just, yeah. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, un what? What? Free revive. I might as well. Okay, now they're going up there. So I just run away from, this is cool. 
This is also quite difficult, I must say, uh, especially with the stamina system. Okay, there you go. I guess we keep going then. Uh, and I got this thing. My initial thought was that they, I literally said they made this game easier for, so more people wouldn't rage quit and they wouldn't stop playing. But then that was really difficult. So that doesn't explain it. So why is the whole rest of this game so easy? So brain dead simulator pet sim easy. Brilliant. You can't even get the car out of the campsite. No, not working. It's so easy. There's no enemies at any of the areas that you stop at. And, but there are enemies at 2,500 and 5,000. I assume there's one at 10,000, maybe even 7,500 as well. You get rewards from these areas, which is cool, as you should. But the enemies, they only activate either when they're almost dead or when you're really close to them. And that's really difficult. The 5,000 one was just pretty easy and you didn't even have to kill all of them. This one, you just had to kill the boss because there are still other enemies uh, around. I literally, I saw them. Um, you just have to kind of kill the main guy. And maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments if you've played this. Maybe you're like, Zach, you have to go to that pyramid first in the lobby. I'm pretty sure you don't. And who's going to know that? I honestly wouldn't recommend coming back to Dusty Trip if you haven't played it in a while like me and this update's intrigued you. I, w I wouldn't even recommend it. It's just really disappointing. This is comfortably the worst map in the game. I hate to say that, but that's my thoughts. And again, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I've missed some giant thing. And if I have, I will come back to this. I, I, do, I do promise that. Uh, but yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, to maybe see that. Uh, maybe I'll give this game another try if I've missed something or if they add a fourth map. I'll make sure to play if they had a fourth map um but yeah a little bit disappointing but thank you so much for watching this video uh, and at least we gave it a go unlike this map which i think was a bit disappointing i don't think you'll think that with my previous video i played rivals on xbox specifically an xbox controller to find out if it's any good and if i'm any better on uh, a controller than i am on mobile so make sure you check out that video right there and i'll see you there thanks so much for watching this video i really appreciate it my name is idiom and as always peace out